All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we are going to be talking about what an enunciator is. So uh, this is also going to be a sneak peek for wall test 2025. Uh, 20, now we are on wall test 25. Um, so you'll be seeing what that will look like. Uh, honestly, the only sneak peek to it is the enunciator. So, yeah. Anywho. Let's move right along. So we are standing at the Silent Night 5208 conventional fire alarm panel. I'm just going to open it up real quick. So you see there are now four wires that are coming out from the panel. That is leading to the enunciator. My enunciator is not on my board. It is actually over by my work desk, which is where I do a lot of fire alarm repair and edit my videos and stuff. So I thought it would be nice. There's a pole station over there. You've seen it from desk test. Um, so I thought it would be nice to have it over there. So we are going to fly right over. Boom. And here it is. This is the Silent Night 5235 remote annunciator. And then next to it is my Firelight BG12L. Nothing special about it. And so we're going to talk about what actually an enunciator is. So if you notice, it does look very, very similar to my panel, to the control pad. That's because it is. It's basically the fire panel without all the wiring. It's like in here, it's that huge board and everything. There's all the wiring terminals. Basically what the enunciator is, is it's just this black part. That's all it is. So it's basically you can program the panel and operate it remotely without having to actually be at the panel. So say like there's a fire alarm. And say the panel is over in a locked maintenance room in the back of the building. So firefighters would come and normally by the main entrance there would be an enunciator. And they come in and they don't want to work with the alarm going. And they can't go all the way back to the maintenance room to silence it. So what they do or the building owner would do is they would take their key, uh, which in this case is the Silent Night Operator key, or use the code. They put it in and turn hit silence and that will put the panel into silence so see it says silence on the panel or on the enunciator and over at the panel it has been silenced strobes are still going that's a two wire device so that's just one thing you do with an enunciator is it allows you to well silence the panel so i shouldn't have pulled that pole station Sorry, I couldn't find my wrench. There's my channel. So then after the panel's been silenced by the enunciator or whatever, you'd reset the pull station. And then you can reset the panel. Enunciator, you can also do more complex things than just silence and reset and stuff. You can actually do a full-blown programming from the enunciator. It's basically, you can do everything on the panel except wire up stuff. You can do it from the enunciator. So we're gonna do most of the work from the enunciator now. We're gonna fly on over again. So here's the enunciator. So this one actually has a different uh, tone than the panel, which I like. I like this tone better. It's a better sounding beep. So we are gonna enter into programming settings. Now we are in program mode. I don't really know how well you can see the screen. We are now in program mode. So we are going to change. Oh, what the heck? It timed out. Oh, duh. Got to put in the code. So now we are just going to do something like we are going to change zone one type from a fire alarm to a water flow alarm. So we're going to hit enter. And then we're going to reset. And if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear the panel click and reset. Here we go. Cheers. 
hear that beep and that click, that's the panel resetting. It does it from the enunciator. So we're waiting, panel's booting up. So here's another thing that enunciator is for. It will, will announce stuff. So say somewhere in the building, the panel is, we'll say it's locked up in a maintenance room again, or it's in a supply closet or somewhere, somewhere where it's not easily access, uh, accessible to viewing. So say there's a trouble, like there's a detector missing. Let me just set this up here. So like say there's a trouble and say the enunciator is over at like, I don't know, just on the wall in the building. It will begin to beep and someone will go, oh, what's happening over here? And they'll see that there's a trouble and they'll be able to go through, see where the trouble is. And you can see it says left smoke. That's the left smoke on my board. So they'll be able to see, oh, okay, there's a trouble without having to go to the panel because you may not be able to hear the panel beep depending on where it is. So be able to go to the enunciator, could silence the trouble. So now the trouble is silenced. And you do that all the enunciator without having to go into like the maintenance room or whatever and go fix the trouble. So now all I have to do is call your fire protection service and they'll come out and fix the trouble. So yeah, that's just a brief overview of basically what an enunciator is, why I have one, and yeah. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.